we are straight into some awkward trig here. Um, we've got sine 5x and we've got sine x, cos 5x and cos x. Well, I'm just going to write down the addition formula to start with. That's That seems like a good starting point, including plus or minus. Okay, now it might be really tempting to expand this sine 5x and try and get it all in terms of sine x to some of a cos 5x, but that is going to lead to not a good place because he's just going to get all sorts of powers of cos and sine. It's not going to work, just trust me with that. Um, what we can do, and this might not seem obvious to start with, but um, I could write rewrite the equation as sine 5x plus sine x equals cos 5x plus cos x. Um, and it's this that we should sort of focus our attention on because if um, I kind of want to rewrite the sine a plus b We're going to get some identities basically that you may have seen before, you may not have. So that if you haven't, I think this question is tough. If you have, you got a, you got a good chance. It's not always on the A level, so this is why like practicing these sorts of questions uh, is important. Um, where was I here? Okay, because I get the same thing here. Yeah, just minus. Now, if I add these two together, then I'm going to get sine a plus b plus sine a minus b. If I add them, then these are going to cancel, and I'm left with two lots of this. And I can decide what A and B are. So I could say, right, I want, uh, well, I kind of want A plus B to equal 5x and A minus B to equal x because then I've got it in the right form. So I can add these together to give me 2A is equal to 6x. So A is equal to 3x and B is equal to 2x. And what I can do, therefore, is I've got sine 5x plus sine x is actually going to be identical. All of these are identities, by the way. I can just replace this here by 2 sine 3x cos 2x, they're the same thing using this identity. And we can do the same sort of thing for cos. So again, I can add them and it's going to be the same situation. This is going to be um, 
So I can be, have a is equal to 3x and b is equal to 2x. So this thing here is just equal to 2 cos 3x cos 2x. And now we're talking, aren't we? Something that looked horrendous suddenly becomes a lot easier. So this is just, these are two um, things to, to be aware of, really. If you're adding these, you can get such a, a more simple thing. You can actually subtract them as well. If you had a subtraction in there, you would just have to, you know, you'd end up, um, these would cancel and you'd be left with it in terms of sine A, sine B. So here it goes. So we can basically, we can cancel out the twos as well, because that's on both sides. Now we've got a new equation to solve. Sine 3x cos 2x equals cos 3x cos 2x. And I just need to remind myself um, we are between 0 and pi. So we're working in radians. Right, next thing, let's, um, well, there's a couple things you can do. You could just cancel the cos 2x out, but consider it equal to zero. Um, but good practice really is to just factorize it out. So cos 2x, and then we're going to get sine 3x minus cos 3x equals zero. Cos 2x equals zero, or this thing is zero, in which case I would get tan 3x equals zero because we can set it equal to zero, we can add the cos 3x, we can divide by cos 3x, that's not right, is it? That would equal one. Um, because in this case, sine 3x is equal to cos 3x. Okay, this is good. So if we solve this one, we're going to get 2x. Oh, because I've got 2x, I'm interested in going from 0 to 2 pi. So it's going to be pi over 2 or 3 pi over 2. Okay, that's going to be it. These points here, you should know these zeros for cos. So x will be pi over 4 or 3 pi over 4. And then for tan, 3x equals 1. Now we're going to be going between 0 and 3 pi. So we might extend into this part. So 3x will equal pi over 4. That's when you get tan x is equal to 1. Um, but then remember it's periodic about uh, with a period of pi so we could also get 5 pi over 4 or if we add pi again 9 pi over 4 um, that's going to be it and then x will equal pi over 12 5 pi over 12 or 9 pi over 12, which is actually 3 quarters pi, so I've already already got so overall Okay, just writing them in order. All right, all of this came out quite nicely. Once we did that that starting bit, that was absolutely crucial to realize about these identities or know them. Um, but yeah, that's the answer.